Okay, I just wanted to give you a, a walkthrough of my home studio setup. I'm going to do a, a photo shoot of my baby uh, daughter. She's about four months old, so it's time to take some pictures. I've uh, pulled out all my equipment here and I've got, as you can see, a, um, a 10 foot backdrop stand holding a black muslin fabric. And I've got that draped over a kind of a soft ottoman which just kind of raises us off the ground so I don't have to work too low. And I've got two lights set up. I've got two flashes, a Canon 580EX2 inside a softbox. This softbox is the Westcott Ultimate Flash Kit. It's a uh, asymmetrical kit in the sense that the light goes in kind of off to one side. So it kind of feathers the light off into the distance uh, over to the right, a few stops of light. And then I've got here a Westcott reflector on the silver side, and that's going to act as my fill light. Uh, if I had a third light, I might put it there, but I've only got two. And what I've done with my 430EX2 is put it here on the Manfrotto boom. This is a really, really cool boom arm that just kind of extends up and then folds at the joint and can extend as far as 12 feet if you went straight up, but of course it doesn't go that far when it's bent over. And what I've got on the front of it here is the actual is the uh, Honnell um, grid, the 1 8 inch grid, which is going to give me a more concentrated uh, circle of light as a hair light. I've got my soccer ball as a test subject here. And it also is going to make sure that that flash doesn't spill into the camera lens uh, because of the way it's blocked. So I've got my softbox as my key light, I've got my reflector as my fill light, and then I've got the um, the gridded light as my hair light, which I could also put to the side as a bit of a of a kicker if that looks better. So I might move that over to the left instead of the reflector to get something really bright uh, behind my daughter. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be running these flashes um, rather than using ETTL this time uh, because it's kind of like a studio setup. Nothing's really changing here. So for more consistent exposures, I'm going to put them on manual. I'm using the wireless function of the Canon 7D, and I've put the 580X2 into group A, uh, the 430X2 into group B, and I'm just running, in terms of the power strength, full power on the 580 and half power on the 430. And I'm able to do this all from the flash menu, the flash control menu in my camera. So I don't actually have to touch the flashes. And it just took a few tests to figure out that I should be somewhere between F11 and F13 to make sure I don't overexpose. And that's something I'll have to figure out once uh, my daughter's there and, and, and see what kind of clothes she's wearing, how bright or dark they are. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're good to go.